Oh, 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 wait a minute! I've, 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 I've just had... I've just had an amazing idea! Blacksmith! Black, blacksmith! Black, black, blacksmith! Blacksmith! Oh! oh. Hello, my fellow hunters, and welcome to the sizzling spice festival! Oh yes, this is colourful and fun, and there is so much to be done! But honestly, chiefly amongst all of it, are these goddamn ale mug jewel blades. Because not only do they look fabulous with the froth just pouring out as you slap monsters into a stupor, no, they are actually really quite, I'm not going to say good, but interesting to the point that a build needs to be made around them, and I will make it. First and foremost, then, how are we acquiring this, the only new weapon of this festival? Well, it's seeing is believing. A Tigrex in the arena by the Meowskular Chef. And the thing about this Tigrex is he's a bit, well... Huge! He is a guaranteed gold crown and then some, and let me tell you, it is ridiculous trying to fight him! Like, it is, it's just, because you're used to Tigrex, you're used to their size and their hitboxes, but when the, you know, the train of non-stop death is about three times as wide, it really throws you off! And <laughs> I'm just getting knocked around by him constantly! But eventually you kill him, like an absolute badass, and you can claim your ticket reward to craft your new pair of jewel blades. You are looking at the spirited canteen ticket, and then you take him to the smithy, and I guess, um, you don't really ask for a weapon to be forged, you kind of ask for a drink. And then here we have our master ale! And look at the stats on this thing! A huge bar of blue! Yo, yeah, it's really, 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 really sucks, and the uh, raw damage kinda does it, but it's two blades, and you're not really using this for raw damage, and with a just blue sharpness multiplier, well, you're gonna be bouncing and tickling monsters. But what is exciting is, well, firstly, two four slots, that's great, but what is exciting is it is a dual status dual blade, paralysis and sleep. Yeah, minus 15% affinity, but you know, we're gonna pretend that that's not there. But paralysis and sleep, so you can sleep monsters that are paralyzed and paralyze monsters that are asleep and generally cause mischief. Honestly, a set built around these, pumping up both statuses to the maximum, played in a multiplayer hunt, would be such a fun way to play dual blades. A little bit gimmicky, a little bit supporty, a status blader that relies on other people to do the damage in the paralysis and the sleep, but you know what? That's fantastic! What a great way to make an interesting, worthwhile, fun festival weapon actually have some use outside of just making it do lots of the damage. This is just great, and of course, the matic with it being ale mug jewel blades, you really are knocking the monster unconscious with the power of pure alcohol. And there is something very, let's say, charming about that when it comes to monster hunters. So yeah, these things are, for me, the most fascinating, interesting jewel blades just full stop, and I cannot wait to play around with them. I really, really can't. So, you know, do look out for that, but seriously, go kill your huge Tigrex, get your fantastic jewel blades, and have some fun, because the goddamn Sizzling Spice Festival has begun. Like if you enjoyed this, subscribe for more, and I will see you soon. A good boy. Rage gaming with the video float. But that's all that's really relevant at the mo, but I'm still gonna leave this up so you patrons know that I love you even though the outro's no longer that kinda relevant. But the new one's being worked on and it's gonna be a truly badass song, and don't worry, I won't be doing any rapping on it. I'm gonna go now. Uh, this was shit.